These little optimizations, man. True. Mutikin would hate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like we're doing the uh, the picks and bans here. And we got a point. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're waiting on the green light from production, which they've been given. It looks like we're good to go. Finally, moment of truth. Does vitals play? Are we going to see Pokemon Stadium 2 here? Predicts engine chat. No, Yo, it's going to be Smashville. You know I'm he plays in center. I didn't guess right? that. You, uh. you know. Vitals, you know he plays in center, War, right? Oh, we got a Falco? This is going to be great. Oh, okay. Okay, you Who's know what? I, I kind of understand. Yeah, it, it feels like either one of these characters gets hit, they might just lose their stock for it. Falco, obviously known for these extended combos. I mean, the agenda, right? Like, we've seen it. We've seen Twitter. Yeah, and especially with Falco. Both of these characters can just tech chase so well. With such a small stage like Smashville, it's going to be easy to catch almost every get-up option, uh, you know, provided they, uh, they react. Starting off 50% already. Like I said, they are just brawling. Oh, tries to go for the... Counter another swing. Dash attack and almost kill at 100%. This should be death. Down tilt. I'll oh, barely miss him. That's going to be it. Oh, no, he missed get the right timing. It. All right, but that's the back it. Throw... Yeah, yeah, that I think will back throw or up throw was going to kill there. 50% only on him, but gets that falling nair. Not going to hurt too much off it. Gets another down throw. Just the that's F smash. The I, don't, F I, don't, I don't think he meant to hit that. I, I absolutely think he did. Like, oh, that might be one of those things that works randomly at low percents. Right. Oh, already another 50%. Bright is just, just kind of hitting him with things. All right, up till back air. Not going to kill yet. I want to go off stage. That's a bit dangerous. Okay, I like the Nair. Just covers the jump in. Side B just this right guy, I think I think he's like 6 for 6 on these side Bs. I mean, them connecting, yes, but we haven't seen all of them get the actual hit he needs. Up smash, a little, uh, little weird idea there. I think any grab would have killed there. Down tilt, not gonna kill either. And oh, another, another side beat across the stage, not going to do it. But we have the edge guard situation here. He goes oh, to the F tilt, doesn't fight. No down tilt. Dead. And the late hit of the dark Larry going to be able to take the stock off the side, even if it's the late hit. He's saying out 140 against Incineroar. Incineroar can sneeze on you, and it would KO that stock. Another, another side beat. <laughs> another grab. Another, another grab. One. Go off and do one. it. I want to see it. Another oh one. You've got to. You've got to stop shielding, bro. Oh. oh okay. I thought he you got know that what we spike. I was like, no way. Okay, two stocks down, but this isn't too bad. Down throw four there. Eighty percent. You've got to be careful off stage. Goes to the neutral grid up. Yeah, spin to wing. That's gonna hit upper bodily invulnerability. Okay, but mistimes the punish on the revenge doesn't matter. He's still on the ledge here. The spin. This is this is terrifying. I'm. Just, if I'm him, I'm horrified too. This is just oh, difficult. What a trade! That was an important trade too. Absolutely, by he's just get, letting Incineroar back to stage for free. It feels like that yeah, side Vitals once again. Vitals isn't doing too bad in that advantage. Shade. It just feels like he's giving up just a little bit too early, and then he's sitting there in shield and you know Incineroar. If I'm Incineroar, I'll side be that every time. I don't. I don't care. Worst comes to worst, I best. Absolutely love that. Just knows that Vitals is playing scared. This is an important match. Vitals wants to be here on Saturday. He wants to prove what he can do, but he has to calm the nerves or something because it feels like he is playing so scared and getting punished every single time by a side before it. Yeah, I like the way Bright's playing. And like we said, Vitals isn't doing too bad. It's just giving up that advantage state a little too early. I didn't see the stage choice, though. I believe it was FD, yes. I think this is going to be a little bit better. You can camp out and send a roar a bit more, especially on that smash where he was literally getting side beat every day. Yeah, I feel it's, like Incineroar actually really likes platforms, so taking that away, it's going to be so difficult for Incineroar to land as well. Uh, no against exactly. Falco especially, he's going to be able to just stay under him and keep the damage on, but that's if Falco can ever find his footing. Spot dodge up tilt, gets spot dodged instead by Bright, a neutral B as well, forces him back onto the ledge. Oh, the wait, out this. wait out the spot dodge, but he grabbed him out of that? <gasps> oh, wow, I... no words, actually. <laughs> no. Not nothing can compare to what we just watched right there. Bright is, Bright is vicious right now. He is not giving Vitals a chance to breathe. All lights are on right now. He is double good side to go. <laughs> Just throwing them out. I mean, his favorite he... move. All right, here we go. Here's a combo. Only about twenty percent, but that's important. 
I like the way that he's kind of holding back a bit, not completely running in at Falling Nears, too. It, it kind of feels like Vitals doesn't really know when his turn is. He's just, it's like, Vite, or Bright will miss something, Vitals will try and do something, but he'll hesitate a little too much or something else, and Bright will already be in a position to do another thing and take advantage over and over again. Yeah, Brett's just always confident that his move is going to hit, that he'll just do it again. At the same time, Vital will just kind of do that second guessing, and you really can't do that against Cinder War. Huge up smash out of shield, going to take the stock, but again, just a 2 to 1 ratio, and this is going to be difficult for uh, Vitals to do. We couldn't do it last time, we think it would be different now. I don't think this guy has an A button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's another dare. Okay, we're putting him in the ground. Okay, I'm liking the combo we're seeing here from Vitals, but is it a little bit too little, too late? Down throw into the fair for Bright, and he's just staying on top of these high recovery side Bs. That, I think that's the first side B we've seen Bright throw out that didn't connect. Yep. Half tilt, not the greatest DIs. Got sent a bit far, tries to hit, hit that down tilt, but a little late on the reactions. This is not looking good. This could be huge for Vitals. I like the side B attempt to try to, to, te uh, to edge guard, but a little too slow. Now we got revenge. And what are we going to do? We're going to run in and grab him. We're going to camp him out. We're camping him out. I like that idea. Stay away from me. And Bright doesn't have to do anything. He has a two stock lead, 100%. Yeah, I'll sit there. I got four minutes. What are you doing tomorrow? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, man, GC, we're on summer break right now. Like, I don't got no homework, nothing to do. Oh. I can wait and wait and I really, wait I until like, you run into this side. Dude. I like what Vitals did there. He tried to spot out the air dodge because I don't think up till back was true there. But Bright just upbeat out of it. <laughs> it it felt like Vitals really he knew what he was doing at the layer percents, but his early percent combos were somewhat lackluster. I feel.